answered most everything in a hurry that they needed on their questionnaire. As for Marino and Johnson, could they keep it going? Or would we have decisions to make tonight on the ride home? And would Mark Brunel, playing with a hobbled knee, be healthy? Jags playing without Tony Baselli. First series, Jacksonville gets the kickoff. Slant to Jimmy Smith. Oh, by the way, the best kept secret in football, he led everybody with 116 catches this year. He had 136 yards receiving today. Six plays later on third and seven. Brunel, and look at the time he has, Thomas. He finds Smith, touchdown, 7 0. Yeah, throwing from inside the red zone, had four or five seconds to throw the football, find a receiver, too much time given by the Miami Dolphins. So here comes Dan Marino. First play of the game on offense for the Dolphins. And it's Aaron Beasley. It's Mrs. Beasley. He makes the pick and sets up a Hollis field goal. 10-0 Jacksonville. Beasley continuing his big-time season. Next Dolphins possession on third and three. Marino. What? What? Dan over his first seven passes. With the score still 10-0 later in the first on second and nine. Brunel to Fred Taylor, his own 10. One miss. Two misses. And then Brock Barron is the only man that can catch him. But he turns into Maid Marion. And Jimmy Smith and Jersey, look at him come to block. Could go all the way. The longest playoff run ever. Touchdown or any variety. 90 yards. Fred Taylor, 17-0 Jags. This play is all about the excellence of Fred Taylor. The first miss by Calvin Jackson. Then Patrick Sertain coming up. Robert Jones is going to come up, have a chance to make the play. And then Brock Marion on the chase. And you see the speed of Fred Taylor once he gets behind the defense. Wrap him up, says Jimmy. You got to wrap him up. But it was the Jacksonville Jaguars that were wrapping this up before the Dolphins knew what hit him. Hit by Tony Brackens as Marino hits a fumble. Now, this is bizarre. Brackens hasn't been touched. Don't celebrate. Run. And then there's Donnelly with a two-hand touch. Run, says Bryce Pop. Run. Oh, by the way, it's a touchdown. 24 to nothing. We take another look at this. We're going to see Tony Brackens as he gets this ball. The ball is out now. Great play by him. Picks it up. He's down on the ground. He felt somebody. And look at Bryce Pop. Nice presence of mind to get Brackens headed toward the end zone. The Dolphins have allowed 197 yards of total offense in the first quarter. That's more than the whole game last week to the Seahawks. But it would get worse. 24-0. Brunel to Fred Taylor. Nice defense, and then when they get somebody to him, nice tackling. 31 to nothing as Taylor makes mince meat of the Dolphins, Tom. Is there anybody here? And, and possibly the worst job of tackling we've seen on a single play. Watch here, Sean Wooden, then Sam Madison. That's Sean Wooden right there. Sam Madison going to come up, have a chance at the play. Patrick Sertain coming from the inside. And then Jason Taylor going to miss this play right there. Good hustle by Wood, and he's going to come back and miss him twice right there at the three-yard line. It would still get worse for Jimmy Johnson. ESPN's Tommy Hutton fumbles us. Now blocked by Corey Chamblin. Chris Howard's going to fall out. Look at Chamblin. Shazam! Shazam! <laughs> that sets up a third and 14 from the 25 for the Jags. Time for little man Store. Jimmy Store. Wonderful, wonderful run. 25 yards, 38 to nothing. We've only played 18 minutes. Next Miami possession. Beasley with his second pick of the half. And so Mark Brunel, who is playing wobbly with a 38-point lead, they give him a rest. Take the day off. Jay Fiedler comes in from Dartmouth. And Fiedler was on the roof immediately. 16 yards to McCardell. They do miss a field goal, but at 38 nothing, what could go worse? This could go worse. Autry Denson, it's a lateral. My God, we should know the rule now. It's a lateral. Donovan Darius recovers for the Jags. And you always assume that it's a lateral. Autry Denson here, obviously behind the passer as he throws the ball. And then the effort right here as you watch him move toward the football and for some inexplicable reason slows down right at the end, allows Jacksonville to get on top of it. So this time Marino to J.J. Johnson. The short pass in Carnell Lake just steals it. My God, they've turned it over every way that you can design it, Tom. Carnell Lake been doing this his entire career. Great job. Can't make the tackle. Picks the ball out and then look at the athleticism right there to pick it out of midair. Another turnover for the Jags. So uh, wait, this is Excedrin headache number one through 100. Meanwhile, tradition. 
It's Damon Shetton, a 12-yard gain on the pass from Fiedler on the roof. 41 to nothing. Later in the second, you know what? Did they know? Did they know that the Jaguar fans said this would be goodbye, Dan, and they knew. And goodbye here. He gets hit hard after the throw. He hung in to try to make something happen, but it was, oh, my God, it was just such a negative spiral. Marino to a Rondé Gatson, which keeps our Jim Kelly in the book. His Bills led 41-3 in the 90 AFC Championship game. That touchdown makes that today's performance only the second biggest lead at the half. Although 41 points ties a record. Heward came in after Marino played one series in the third quarter. Meanwhile, Fiedler to Jimmy Smith. It's 70 yards. It's 48 to 7. Later in the third, Fiedler conducts another touchdown pass to Alvis Witted. 38 yards. It's 55 to 7. <laughs> and then a little symphony, please, because the Dolphins were wet. The commissioner, well, Commissioner Tagliabue knows that the Jacksonville fans may never see a daylight. Watch dents and fumbles again. Is this a joke? Donovan Darius recovers. Tommy Hutt doesn't even try it. Schmengi recovers. 62 to 7. Marino and Johnson had not words negative, but had a lot to talk about on the sidelines and afterwards. And look, a loss is a loss. But no one ever imagined that a game could go like this. For Jacksonville, at 14 and 2, they may have been laying in the weeds the whole year if they could do this, as the Jags have scored the second most points ever in the postseason, slicing and dicing their rivals from the southern part of the state, 62 to 7. Afterwards, coach and quarterback of the Dolphins explain their discussions. I guess it's thanks full circle. I, I was on the other side of one of these where we we got about seven takeaways from an opponent in the Super Bowl, and it was a runaway. But uh, I've never, I, I don't, I've never been on this side before. Coach Johnson at halftime, you know, said that he wanted to maybe put Damon in because of the circumstances in the game, and uh, you know, I asked him if I could have another shot, and um, didn't go so well. Uh, so that was very fair of them. We blew these guys out. We, um, we play, played pretty well. We got a lot of turnovers, and we capitalized off the turnovers. I mean, you think about it. It's just just like one of those days. Anything that could have went wrong, went wrong. And a lot went right for the Jaguars. 520 yards in total offense. The Dolphins committing seven turnovers. Brunel was out, Tom, with the score 38-0. At that time, Marino had been picked twice. He had no completions. He had the fumble that was returned for a touchdown by Brackens. 